Hey there, I'm Alan Matthews from Classical Guitar Shed, and in this video, you'll hear how to make right hand exercises from the snippets you find in your pieces of music. That way, your technique practice directly improves the music that you're learning. If you enjoy this, please do subscribe to this channel. So I'm sure you know that it's really constructive to do right hand exercises, right? So that we just get better at using our right hand. But then also, we have music and we want to play the music, right? So it could be that you would much rather play the music than doing your right hand exercises. And if that's the case, or even if it's not the case, and if you find a tricky spot within a piece of music, what you can do is you can take that out and then make an exercise from it and use that as your technique practice. And that's what we're going to be talking about. So to begin with, let's just take a look at this piece of music right here. This is a little valse, um, Matteo Carcassi, and it just starts off like this. So this is the pattern, yes? And let's just say, because it's A, M, A, M, let's just say that that's slow on you and that you need some practice on that, on that thing. So what we can do then is just take this right hand pattern, take all of the notes out of it, so take the left hand away all together, and then we have one. really define what needs to happen in the right hand right here. So we're just looking at just, just this pattern right here. It repeats again right here. So just this pattern, we have I and M, A, M, A, M. But this gets lame pretty fast just using open strings, right? So what you can do then is put it into whatever your favorite chords are. You could use cowboy chords, A minor, E, C, G. You could use these, you could use a practice progression in, in the Wichita program. We use this one that goes up the next like this here. It's just nice to practice. And so then doing this, now you make an exercise out of it. You know, it's not completely on the screen there. So now we have an exercise, and instead of just practicing this little right hand pattern twice for the piece, I really should practice that some more, but I'm just ready to go on. Instead, we now have something that keeps it interesting and fulfilling and fun to play using that right hand pattern over and over. And so then we can just drill that right hand pattern. Once we come back to the piece, we've actually practiced that right hand pattern. We drop it back into the piece and it's going to be better than it was before. And we've done our technique practice. So now we've kind of checked all of our boxes. We've gotten better at our piece. And then we've also done some right hand practice so that now we're better at our right hand work as well. And we've used some creativity by putting it together. So however you practice, another one, I'm just gonna tell you this one, a nice diminished chord. The frets here, it's just a four note chord. It's like a D chord moved over one. And then with the, with the pinky stuck on there on the G. So your frets are two, three, two, three. It's just a zigzag line. And this can move up a fret. Villalobos used a lot of this in his writing. But it's great for doing technique exercises because it never really sounds resolved. It just keeps going and keeps going. So that's a diminished chord. And so you can use that also in your practice. So the main point here is whatever it is that you're doing, if you find a tricky spot, we used a uh, arpeggio, we used a right hand pattern, arpeggio pattern for this, but it could also be a scale pattern. Move it up. Whatever it happens to be, then make an exercise of it. Move it up and down the fretboard. Go between your chords if you want to. Whatever you can do to where you use your pieces of music as exercises. All right. Have fun. Practice some good technique work. And let me know how it goes. All right. Please subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.